It's that time of year again for the 83rd Daily News Golden Gloves Competition, the oldest and largest amateur boxing tournament in the world. This year's event kicks off at BB King's in Times Square on January 20th, 2010. To catch the spirit of the evening, we will be looking back on the 2009 finals at Madison Square Garden, where we will talk to the athletes regarding their performance. We're here with Jill Carey Ward, and you're an actress, I read. Yes, I am, yeah. <laughs> okay, any, yeah, any acting go. jobs lately? Um, I'm actually an actress and a model, and uh, I modeled this morning for Boutique 9, believe it or not. So I uh, finished my modeling gig and came over for my weigh-in, and... Uh, you know, I was grateful. I, I knew the finals could be Thursday or Friday. I was happy I was fighting Friday because I don't think I could go to work like this tomorrow, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah being, so. being an actress and a model where, where, where looks are so important, does it, does it worry you at all? You know what? Um, I think I'd be a very vain person if I didn't do something I loved to protect my looks. It's just not the way I am, and I love boxing. Uh, you know, I'll be back, and uh, I'm going to keep fighting. I love to fight. There's a fighter in me. And, uh, you know, fighter fights, and you forget about your face when you're in there. You know, you have to. Jill, what brought you into the game? Uh, I come from an Irish fight family. My cousin's Mickey Ward, and uh, my really? aunt married into Willie Pep's family somehow. And uh, as a kid, my, my father's from uh, County Kerry, and we used to have these big Irish fight parties over at the house. And uh, all the boys, a lot of the boys in my family have boxer middle names, like Jack Cassius Ward and... You know, they didn't do it for the girls, but oddly enough, I'm the only one who ended up in the sport. So, um, surprise, surprise, and uh, I do love it. I'm very blessed to be here. Now, you're talking about the Mickey Ward that fought Otoro Gotti? That's right. The trilogy, yeah, and yeah. then trained him. Yeah. Too bad I didn't have the, uh, the same skills he does, but I'm going to do the best with what I have. You know, and Otoro Gotti looked great after uh, Mickey trained him. He did, he did, yeah. Well, hey, good luck. I'm looking forward to you next year. Thank great, you. Great Thank you very much. There. It's a pleasure to be here. And Ruth's a great, great fighter. Uh, hey, and what did it mean to fight in the garden? I, I, this is my second time in the finals, and uh, it's just as special and just as important as the first time. It's an honor to be here. Well, I'm, I'm humbled by the whole experience. Uh, we didn't know the Martin Snow Trinity Gym was your trainer. Uh, t tell us about Jill here. She is the toughest person I have ever seen the toughest. She's got a, a giant heart at um, work. She's crazy, but she's tough. A great, she's a great kid, too. And I'm taking the responsibility for that. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't put the contact lens back in the eye. So she's like a, she's blind as a bat without it. So she was kind of fighting on uh, other instincts in there, but she can't, you know. Oh, she lost a contact in the fight. Oh, yeah, I, I couldn't put it back in there. My, I kept missing and I hit her over here, so I I lost that fight. I'll take the credit. I'll take the blame for that fight. You know, um, the first round of contact comes out. I had three chances to do it. And I couldn't get it in there. But I'll tell you what, though, this kid is the toughest. You know, she didn't know. Hey, Tommy Gallagher, how's it going? You know Tommy? Yeah, yeah, hey, Tommy. Yeah. Nah. And she only knew three weeks ago she was fighting. She did. We were, we've been out in California. She was helping me out there, and then you know she got a call. So we trained for a few weeks, and uh, she did pretty well. She did great. Yeah, I, I thought so. I thought so. I'm very proud of the way she fought. Thank you, Martin Snow. All right, Crystal. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Hey, good job. Right. Anybody we'll else? See you later. Any, anybody else? That's it for me. For yeah, that's it for me for all nine. You did good. You did good. All right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, here we're here with Ruth O'Sullivan, I guess, as you said, a three-time champion right three -time now. Three-time champion, yeah. <laughs> Tell our audience a little bit about that fight. You knocked her out um, Yeah, it was a good fight. I mean, the girl kept coming. Um, she was very determined. I, she was bleeding a lot from her face, and I know that throws you off when you're fighting. I knew once I kept hitting, once I got an opening to the face, if I just kept going, like, they were going to jump in. I, I knew she was getting tired, too. She was holding, so... You just have to keep it up, you know, you just, you know, it's not a long fight. You, you just got to know, you just like, just give it everything. I'm in the ring, I'm going to give it, I've been training for this, this is what I'm here to do, rise to the occasion. Talk, you know? Talking about training, where do you train at, who do you spar with? I train out of Gleason's Gym in Brooklyn. Oh, Gleason's, you're with everybody. Gym, the best gym in the world. I love Gleason's Gym. We've got the best community there, Bruce Silverglade, who 
owns Gleason's gym, just makes it a fabulous place, and he takes care of everybody there. We have he does. He's a, the most in, incredible person. He's made it a community. Um, we have some of the best fighters in the world: Alicia Ashley, Melissa Hernandez, Belinda Laras Fuente. We have the best. You know. There's a, a, an abundance of sparring. And he sends out emails. He lets people know that there's fights coming up. He, he, right. he's, he's, he's really involved in the boxing community that you just can't get any better than right. that. Right. You can't. You can't. It's like a com I tell people, a lot of people have their church. You know, they find a support network in their church. Those of us who belong to Gleason's, that's all we need. There's a community right there. Oh, wow. And, and, and one last thing before you go, not only look, you see those great gloves, but what did it feel like to be in Madison Square Garden? Oh, it's always awesome to be in the garden. You know, it's, it's intimidating you come out and look at the lights, but what a fabulous experience. Who gets to box in Madison Square Garden? Who gets to do anything special in Madison Square Garden? It's, it's incredible. I feel the same way. Hey, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>